This is a billionaire romance. <laughs> Hey, what's your girl Bella? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're in the car. I'm like out of lotion, okay? Kinda ashy, okay? I have another one, I have another one. Today we're in the car and we are about to go book shopping. I'm going to take you all with me. I'm pretty excited. At the time of filming this, I actually have not watched any of these videos, but I know they're very popular, so. Make sure you want to like it. <laughs> But I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go book shopping. My plan is to go to Target and the thrift store. If you guys are curious about where I thrift my books at, I go to Community Thrift Store. It's my absolute favorite thrift store in Charlotte. They have a lot of new release books. And it's funny because it's a very, very small book section, but it's very small and packed with gems. So I'm very excited. I actually went earlier this week and Typically I go like every few months, but I feel like there's no harm in trying to go a few days later because I mean thrift stores get new stuff like every single day. So I'm going to go again to the today. I'm going to go to Target. I actually went to Target like I go to Target all the time. So I'm going to go to a different Target because there's a very specific book that I want to get that I've been loving. I'm currently reading it and I've been loving it. I want to say what it is. I want to get Ninth House because I'm reading Ninth House right now and I'm absolutely enamored and in love with this book. Like I already know it's going to get five stars from me. Like it would have to be something so horrible to not get five stars. But I want to get Ninth House. I want to check out the thrift store. There's also a local bookstore here in Charlotte called I Read It in Books. They used to be located in Plaza Midwood, but they have they had a, like a reopening in Noda about a month or two ago. So I wanna go there and just see like how it looks, what's there. And I don't know, I think that's going to be it. I don't plan on going to Barnes and Noble. Fun fact, I've actually never bought a book from Barnes and Noble before. Have I been to Barnes and Noble? Yes, I've been there many times, but I've actually never shopped and bought a book there. So if you all like this video, then maybe I'll do a Barnes and Noble specific book, book shopping vlog. <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below if that would interest you. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't have a tripod and I don't have anyone helping me film this video. I have no issue with filming in public. Like I've started making YouTube videos when I was in like middle school. So I have no issue filming in public. But I just don't have a great filming setup for this. So I'm probably just gonna put you guys on a shelf and go like that. So hopefully the angle is cool. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm really, really excited. in this book but i did not know that this was a box set first to die at the end and they both die at the end i did not know that these are two books that go together i just got this at the thrift store for like three dollars a few months ago it's 1360 here and they had two copies in hardcover this book is like so pretty like the cover but oh my gosh it's so thick this is a potential pick for a book club that I'm in. Drunk on Love by Jasmine Guillory. I hope it wins because I haven't read anything by Jasmine Guillory. And y'all know I hated this book. Everyone speaks so highly about these and I absolutely like want to read them. Also this book, highly talked about. Of course we have the Colleen Hoover Shrine. Absolutely love this book. So good and fun and cute. The Deal by L. Kennedy. I've actually never heard of this book by Colleen Hoover. And it looks like a thriller which makes me low-key want to read it. So this actually sounds good. I've never heard of this book by Colin Hoover, but it seems like similar to Verity in the sense that it's like more thriller-ish. This was published in 2020, so I don't know how I've never heard or seen this. Everyone says this book will get 
all your purpose. Hard some of the things, but without merit. I'm not gonna lie, this synopsis sounds good. I don't know. I might do Colin Hoover reading vlog. Okay, so I'm at a Target. This is not my normal Target that I went to. I went to one that was like 10 minutes further out. God, I need to get my car washed. It's like not a joke. <laughs> Sorry, my Bluetooth connected to my headphones. But yeah, I went to Target that's kind of further out. I wanted to get Nine House, but that was at a Target that was a whole 30 minutes away. So I didn't want it that bad. But I did get a few books. I'll show you all. First, I got The Fine Print. There's a really, really nice older black lady in there. And we were talking about books. She would pick up a book and I'd be like, oh, I've read that. Or I'd pick up one. And she was like, oh, I've heard good things about that. So we were kind of helping each other out. And I was telling her I was looking for The Fine Print. And she's like, oh, it's right here. So I'm really excited. This is a billionaire romance. <laughs> And it's supposed to be like the equivalent of like Disney I've heard. This is a three book series. So I just got the first book. I told you, I don't care if people see me vlogging. Someone just walked past and looked at me really funny. Like, what's up? This is the first book in the series. So if I like this, I'll continue to buy more. And if not, I won't. But I'm really, really excited to read this. I think I'm going to use a lot of these for a specific reading video. I also got The Deal by L. Kennedy. I believe this is a sport, a college sports romance. Again, this is a series. If I like it, I'll continue. I got another billionaire romance. And someone described this book and I was like, oh my God, what book is that? And I could not believe it was the Inheritance Games. Like I've heard about this book before, but the way this one book influencer pitched it, it just sounded so good. Another three book series. I got the first one. I don't know if this is a YA book or if it's a new adult. I think it's new adult, but I'm excited. And then I got a book I've already read which is One Italian Summer by Rebecca Surly. This book has kind of mixed reviews. I personally enjoyed it. I loved all the descriptions of Italy and the Amalfi Coast and tomatoes. Like I think I've talked about this in like my September wrap up or something like that. How this book made me start liking tomatoes and I've never liked tomatoes before, but this book made me start liking them. So I got it in paperback. I don't know if I would ever reread this book. I think I actually would like it's really, really short. And I think like in the summer on a beach, it would actually be pretty fun to read. It's only 252 pages like, so yeah. I'm sorry you can see the dust flying around. My car is dusty. I might get a wash today. Like I might have to go to the car wash because I definitely need the outside wash and the inside is a little bit dusty too. So I just don't feel like doing that. I need to go get gas though. So let's go get gas and then go to the thrift store and then we'll see. I don't know if I want to go to Reddit and Books. Like I want to go and check out the new location, but I don't know if I want to really go. Let's see. I did not like this book, but this is a prettier cover. Like I own this book and I wish I had this cover because that would at least make it better. You know, the fact that I don't like it. Just pumped my gas at Sam's Club. And I forgot that Sam's Club also sells books. So I looked at their books. They had a pretty good selection, but nothing that I actually was interested in purchasing. Now I have to go drop off this hair because I'm getting my hair done next week. And this girl is 38 minutes away. I don't know if I've ever even driven that far since I've moved to Charlotte. Like that's really far. <laughs> so mini road trip. Maybe the target that I was avoiding going to will be close to her and I can get ninth house today. I'm trying to see the positives in this situation. But let me start heading over there. I just got in from the thrift store. It was successful despite the fact that I was just here maybe four days ago. I still was able to find some books. It's really hard to vlog in there, especially because one, it's Saturday. So it's actually really busy in there on Saturdays. I've never been on a Saturday before. And as y'all saw, it's just one like row of books, like one, one shelf of books. So there's nowhere for me to like put my phone down so that I can be filming like how I would do like Target or somewhere else I can put my phone down. So it's kind of harder for me to film in there, but within just those four 
four days there's definitely a change in the books like i was able to get some books that i didn't see last time i'll show you guys all the books the ones i got today and the ones i got like a few days ago when i get home but yeah definitely a change and i noticed that like when i came a few days ago i saw some ally hazelwood i saw some colleen hoover and i didn't see them today so they got snatched up really fast i need to wash my car but i really don't feel like it I think I'm gonna wash my car tomorrow. Tomorrow, Sunday reset, wash car, blah, blah, blah. Depending on how far I read it in books is, I might check them out, check out the new location. But if it's too far away, then I won't. So, I mean, y'all will know in the next clip what I end up doing. OTD, but this is what I was wearing during my book shopping escapade. Super simple black hoodie from Shein. It's probably like 60 degrees out in Charlotte. So for Charlotte, this is cold. In actuality, it's not. I'm wearing these jeans from Fashion Nova that I literally love. I hauled these in one of my vlogs. I will put it in the cards. And then foam runners I got for my birthday. I will put that video in the cards. And my everyday YSO bag. I unboxed this in a video. I'll put that in the cards. So you can check those videos out after this. You guys, I'm so happy to be back home. I was running around going to all those bookstores and just running my other errands for three and a half hours. So glad to just be sitting back down. If you see a change, in the quality it is because I was filming all the earlier clips on my iPhone and I was switching between the front, the front and back camera but now we're back on the video camera so let's haul these books I don't plan on buying any more books this month honestly especially not before I move because I'm filming this on March 11th and I move in 11 days on March 22nd so I have no business buying any more books but y'all saw the books I got from Target I'm so 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 excited about these because they make me so excited to read and these are the only books that I bought brand new and it's funny because you know Target always has a 20% off stickers so I price matched this one with Amazon no no not this one I price matched this because on Amazon I think it was like $8.97 and at Target it was like $13 and then they always have these 20% off stickers and the lady was like oh you know you get an additional 20% off these books which is actually not true. The 20% sticker is 20% off the price on the back, which I found out like a long time ago at Target, but she gave me an extra 20% off the 20% off. So I got these books. I probably paid like $27 because I also had some Target rewards. So I paid $27 for four brand new paperbacks, which is an insanely good deal. Next, I'll show you all what I got from I read it in books. They have this cute little stamp on the bag. Their books are really cute because the way that they have the books like divided out, this is a new location. They actually just opened this location a week ago so that's really exciting they definitely have a lot less books than they had at their old location in plaza but it was still a really cool bookstore and i definitely recommend it if you are looking for diverse reads that's a good place to find them i only got books from their used book section and y'all the girl in front of me grabbed a copy of carrie soto is back and it was from the used book section so it's probably like ten dollars hardcover i was so sorry that she got it and i didn't because in the cards y'all will see that i had that book in my top 10 books of 2022 i freaking love that book so much and i've actually been waiting to buy it because there's a prettier cover on book depository but if I would have got it for a used book price, I would have just bought it then. But anyway, I got three books from my Reddit and books. So I got Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. This is a thriller. I have not read anything by B.A. Paris, but this was only five books and it's on my TBR. I also got this book by Frederick Bachman. It's called Anxious People. This was $6. I actually have not read any Frederick, Frederick Bachman. Maybe I'll do a whole video dedicated to his books because I recently purchased a man called Ove. But yeah, this was originally not on my radar just because I don't know. I don't want to read about anxious people. But I've heard great things about it and it was, it was discounted. So I said, you know what, I'll get it. And then I got this book, Layla. I told you I just heard about this book today. It's by Colleen Hoover. It was only $5 and this gives me like thriller vibes just based off of the cover the cover like there's this woman looking out the window or someone's looking into her window i really can't tell but it gives me thriller vibes based off the synopsis it has like a thrillery sort of feel and on the top it says love can haunt or heal and i personally like verity i didn't really love colleen's other books but i got these and then i got two sets of books from the thrift store so i'll show you the books i got today first 
So today I just got two books. The first one is One by One by Ruth Ware. I own like one other Ruth Ware book, but I haven't read anything from her. She's a British thriller author. And this book is about this group of people who get snowed in at this like resort cabin, really nice hotel, something like that. And then one by one, they start dying off. So very much Agatha Christie and then There Were None Inspired is the vibe that I'm getting from it. It has like a 3.7 on Goodreads, but when I read the synopsis, it just sounded like a book that I would want to read. And I have the issue of like sometimes I'll look at a book's Goodreads rating and then it'll like discourage me from reading the book and I kind of miss the days when I didn't know about Goodreads because I would just read a synopsis and be like okay I'm gonna check this check this out but now it's like Goodreads kind of determines like do I want to read this do I not books that I normally wouldn't want to read I'll decide I want to read and vice versa so I picked it up this was only $4.98 so not mad about it and then I also got Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney she is the author of another book that I liked. <laughs> this was only $2.98 so and it's another thriller. And then I got another stack of books a few days ago and I paid only $13. So I paid $13 for all of these books and they were all on my radar. So first I have this book that I got for 99 cents, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. And I didn't know this was a series. I'm pretty sure this is a movie but I did not know it was a series also. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's a book that a lot of people know about and like. I got The Last Flight. This is probably the most exciting book I got because this was only 99 cents. And at Community Thrift Store, they just continue to mark down the prices of books. I think it's the longer they've been there. I don't know if it's by weeks or by days, but this started off at 2.98, then 1.98, and then I got it for 99 cents. And it usually doesn't go below 99 cents. But I'm so excited about this. This book is about these two women who meet on like a chance encounter at the airport and they decide that, you know what, they want to try the other person's life out. So they switch plane tickets and like kind of like they switch names and then they board each other's flights to two different destinations one of the ladies ends up passing away in a flight like the plane crashes or something and then the other one has to, like assume this new identity of like another woman who they're thinking she died on a plane but really which she did but they switched identities oh my god it was a bad description but I usually don't like plane crash books because it gives me anxiety. Like, I don't want to read about that. I fly all the time and like I repeat that in the name of Jesus, but this sounds really good. I just realized that this was also on Hoopla as an ebook because I'm in my ebook era. So I was going to read on Hoopla, but to own it for 99 cents is not bad and it's only 278 pages. Like that is short. Next, I got The Maidens. Again, this was marked down a bunch. It started off at $4.98, then $3.98, then $2.98. And I love how these stickers come off so easily. That is so nice. This is by Alex Michaelides. He wrote The Silent Patient, which I absolutely love. This is his other book. Originally, this book is $27.99. So a book that's on my radar, that's on my TBR, that has lower ratings than The Silent Patient, but that I'm pretty excited to read. Okay, the books are falling. The next book is The Deaf Cure by James Dasher. This is in the Maze Runner series. So now all I need to get is the kill order. I got the other two books from the community thrift store a few weeks ago. So I'm pretty excited that I found this one as well. That did not peel off as nicely as the other ones did. I got The Golden Couple. This book I got for $2.98. And it's funny because I saw this at community thrift store. I don't know if I saw it full price or if I saw it. No, sorry. I saw it said I read it in books full price, I believe. But I got it at community thrift store for $2.98. Do not sleep on used books. Do not sleep on thrift stores. Especially community thrift store. Y'all saw how small that shelf of books was but they have gems like almost every single book in there is good so I got that so exciting and then I got the sundown motel by Simone St. James this is another thriller that takes place at like a shady motel I don't know if this was on my radar initially but it's only 198 and I love the cover and the synopsis sounded really good it's dual timeline so one takes place in 1982 another one takes place in 2017 and the very first like critics comment whatever literally says compelling and creepy so I've heard enough all right so that is my come shopping with me video I hope you all enjoyed this if you liked it let me know down below in the comments if you want me to do another one that's specifically for Barnes and Noble as I said earlier I've never shopped at Barnes and Nobles before so I think it'll be fun to do like a dedicated come shopping with me at Barnes and Noble I'll probably make it a little bit more aesthetic like we can go get coffee together maybe get a little breakfast you know since it'll only be one bookstore but yeah I'm super excited about all the books that I got I think I got such a great deal such great prices for all these books and I hope this inspires you to go book shopping but go book shopping and get the books discounted don't be out here buying full, paying full price unless of course that's your only option then yeah pay full price to support the authors but also try to get them discounted if you can why not so i love you all so much i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye